Okay, so in this video we are just going to quickly take you through how to edit your videos in Caden Live. So, first of all, we bring up the Caden Live application. And if you don't know how to install Caden Live, then go to www.linuseum.com and take a look in our desktop guide under editing video. And the first thing we do once Caden Live is displayed is we click on the add clip button. Okay, we navigate to where our files are, in this case it's in this subdirectory, and we pull in our audio visual file, in this case it's a .avi file. So we've brought our clip in, we can see it here in this project tree area as it's called in Caden Live. Um, you can edit it in this clip monitor here by setting a start point and an end point, but I find it's just easier just to drag it in to the project timeline as it's called down here and edit it there. So you can tell from this thumbnail here that it's both got a uh, video picture and this squiggly line here shows the audio track. What I tend to do is if, I, if you right click on an audio visual clip you will have the option to split audio here. Okay and then that will split out both your audio and video tracks here and that allows you to edit them separately. One thing you must do before you start editing is to right click again and choose ungroup clips. Okay, If you don't do that then any edit you make to one track will also be made to the audio track. Now you can obviously pick up and drag these clips to whatever point you would like in the timeline so let's pull them right way back to the beginning. I guess the first thing we need to do is to get rid of some of this gubbins at the beginning when I was running record my desktop here and we don't really want that in the final video so if you click down along these points here you can see different points in time through the video use control home it'll take you straight back to the beginning here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the arrow key this is the right arrow key and this is going to frame by frame through the video so you can see what's happening here and that's about the point I want it okay so I don't want any of that stuff preceding that so I'm going to right click here make sure this video clip is selected I'm going to do cut clip okay you can see it's now created two clips here basically a cut in the clip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this first part we've just got rid of that bit we probably want to pull that back into the start position so if you right click in that empty space and choose remove space that'll pull it straight back to the beginning um, now as we've done that our audio track is out of sync and as it happens we all that audio beforehand we don't want anyway so we can do the same thing with this but let's do this a slightly different way another way of editing something out when it's at the beginning and the end is to hover near the start or end point and then just drag it in so I'm going to drag it right into there so instead of using the cut clip, I, all I've done is just take the edge and drag it in. And again, I'm going to remove space. And so hopefully, when we play it now, our video and audio match up. So that's good. When we go to the end of the clip, again, we've got some gubbins here that we don't want. So let's try and find the point at which we want to stop the video. And it's going to be roundabout where I stop Firefox there okay and again we can drag the end in to the point we want it or let's do the cut clip on the audio here I'm going to take here I'm going to do a right clip and cut clip select the end portion that I want to delete and hit the delete key okay so we can see here that the video clip is now slightly shorter than the audio clip so I probably need to cut that down so that they're exactly the same length what you can do is use this slider bar at the bottom the zoom level and you can zoom in so you get a little bit more detail here so there's the end point of the video I can now take the end point of the audio and just shrink it back so they're now the same length I don't think there's anything in this clip that we need to edit in the middle so what we'll do next is edit a bit of the audio so if I let the video run there's a point in which I say um a couple of times okay so there's a couple of ums there so what we're gonna do is 
click down here okay so you can hear there's the um that little bit there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click before it and I'll right click and do a cut clip and I'm going to click after it and do a cut clip as well. You can see that section is now selected automatically. Hit the delete key then again remove the space and then that piece is hopefully gone. Let's play it back. Now you see there's a second um there. A little bit more tricky to get rid of because it's embedded there in the audio but if we zoom in a little bit we can see and it definitely starts there so let's do a cut clip there um, it's a bit more tricky to find the actual end of this I think it's possibly there let's try that uh, cut clip the second is yeah that's fine and we remove it so hopefully now those two ums have gone Okay, so that's great. We've edited those annoying ums out of the audio. But we now have a slight problem in that the audio is now going to be out of sync with the video. So it actually doesn't matter too much in this particular clip, but if you get too far out of sync here, you're going to have to cut the same sequence of time out of your video as you did out of the audio. The only other way you can do it is actually to pad out the areas that you've cut out with a little bit of silence. So for instance you could take a little stretch of this silent audio here and paste it in over here in order to pad out the audio to be the same length as the video. As it happens it doesn't really matter too much uh, in this clip that the audio is slightly out of sync so all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drag out the end of this audio. Okay. So one good thing about Caden Live is if you shrink down the clip, or indeed even if you cut it out, um, it doesn't actually affect the original clip. You can drag it out up to the original end of the clip that you're editing. Okay, so they are now lined up fine. Next thing we probably want to do, now our clip looks and sounds how we like it, we probably want to put a, a, a title on the front. So the way we do that is we go up to project and we do add title clip. Okay, just took a little bit of a while to paint. Um, choose your font and the size and the color that you want your um, writing to be in. Um, you can actually put graphics in here as well. You can use the, uh, I think it's this one, it's the add image to put a, an image in. So you can create titles in GIMP or you can import pictures, stills. Uh, to use as a title page but I'm just going to use a straight text here so I'm just going to put uh, introduction to the Linoceum so I put my text in I'm quite happy with that but I don't like the position because it's not centered so I can click on this icon and just pick it up and move it to where I want it okay that's about center I'm going to click OK and you'll see what it does is it inserts that text as a five second clip in your project tree here. So I'm going to put that down in this project timeline here. But first thing I need to do is I need to put it above this clip um, because I am going to overlap it at one point. Pick up the title clip, I'm going to pop it in there. Okay, so it comes in as a five second clip. Again, I can resize it down to a shorter or larger clip. In this case, as it's a, basically a still file, I can enlarge it to whatever size I like, um, which is quite a neat feature. Um, you'll notice also it comes in with a transition here, a composite transition. That means if I click down here, you'll see that the bottom slide shows through to the top one, Okay, which is kind of a useful feature if you want to put the title over a starting slide and see through to the background. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can actually just get rid of this or shrink it down. There you go. And then you'll just see the title, the top clip here. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what shall I do? Let's get it to fade in. Let's, so if we click on the effects list here, we'll just go down, click on the fade category. We'll choose the fade from black and we'll just drag and drop onto there. Now if I size that back down, you can see this duration uh, slider here. So at the moment it's taking five seconds to actually fade from black to the title. So I'm going to pull that right back to around about a second. And I'm just going to shrink down this title clip so that it no longer overlaps the main video clip. Okay, so if I go back to the beginning now and play, what you'll see is... There you go, so you see it fade right in there. As you can tell, our audio track is now out of sync, so I'm going to have to move that out to the correct position so it starts at the same time as my other video. And if we let that run, you see we have five seconds, and then we immediately cut to the video in here. It's probably not what we want to do, so we probably want to fade this one out. So if we go back to our um, effect list, and we're going to fade this back to black at the end. And again, I'm going to take that down to one second. So if you go back to beginning now, what you should see is that slide, the title fade in, and then fade out again. Okay, again, there's a bit of a harsh display on the actual video track. So let's get that one to fade in as well. So again, I can do fade from black, just drop it on there, adjust the time. Again, I think I'm going to put it down at one second, but you can put it to whatever time you like. And if I go back to the beginning now, we should see the title fade in, fade out, and then the new track fade in. So that's quite a nice way of just introducing uh, a different topic in your video tutorials. Um, one of the other things you might want to do is to pull into different tracks and put them all together. So let's go ahead and do that. If we click on the Add Clip here, we'll navigate down and pick up this MP4 track that I've got here. Okay, and this is our animated logo. So again, all I need to do is to pick this up and drag it to the position I want to put it in the timeline. In this case, I'm going to put it right up at the end of the video track. Okay. So again, when the video ends, you can see we get the animated logo on the end. But again, there was a bit of a harsh transition between these two. If I go frame by frame through here, you can see it just suddenly cuts from one to the other there, which is probably not the best form of transition. So again, I'm going to do a fade to black here. And luckily, our, our logo clip here starts with a black background, so that will uh, give it a nice transition there. I think I'm going to fade it out. Yeah. Let's put it up at 152. Two seconds fade. OK, so here we go. Okay, so we'll see, hopefully, when we come back. And that's a nice way of just finishing off. Again, we've, so we've got basically a starting slide here, we've got our tutorial, and we've got an ending clip on the end. Um, one other thing you might want to do with the audio track is to fade the audio track in and out. And again, if we look down here, we've got two audio signals here for fade in and fade out so I'm just going to pick up fade out pop it down on the audio track and again I can change the duration to whatever duration I want okay so let's let's do it fairly large so you can hear the effect so here we go and there we have it